Happy New Year! It's the old buggy whip maker Tubal Cain again, showing you some more old technology. You know, this is a little Jensen toy steam engine that I had as a boy, and uh, it's something I valued so greatly at that time. I thought it was so neat, and I still got it after over 60 years. And uh, so I thought I'd break this out and show it to my grandkids over uh, New Year's Eve, and. Uh, I could spark no interest at all. I just lament the fact that my nine-year-old grandson was stuck on the computer. My six-year-old granddaughter sat at the table three feet away from this and refused to look up from her coloring book. My four-year-old grandson did look when I shrieked the little annoying whistle. But uh, some of you may still appreciate something like this, so We'll uh, fire this up here presently. It's a little uh, vertical. Uh, I, I digressed a bit there, and I hope I didn't depress you, but I, I was suffer from, suffering from a little bit of New Year's uh, depression there. Uh, small vertical oscillating engine, sometimes called a wobbler, and we got a little boiler here. And uh, <coughs> the boiler is a electric 400 watts, so it'll take a few minutes to heat up. Uh, we have a little whistle on the top. We got a valve here that controls the amount of steam going into the engine, and you can control the speed by that too. It really runs fast. There was a little toy chimney here that's long missing. You know, anything that children had uh, usually has missing parts. Uh, this is the filler spout, and also uh, it serves as a little safety valve for the pressure. On the end here, we used to have a little uh, glass water gauge showing how much engine, uh, how much water was in there, and uh, that's long gone uh, and just plugged up. But uh, make sure that you don't ever run a boiler dry. Make sure there's enough water in there. Start it at about half full, and I always use distilled water to avoid corrosion because it's something I don't run very often. So uh, join me here in just a few seconds. We'll run this little beauty. Well, it only took about six or eight minutes for this to warm up, and uh, I don't know if that little whistle is audible, but it's quite a shrieker. I uh, hope I didn't drive anybody away with my uh, a little rant there about uh, the lack of interest of small children in something like this, but uh, let's run her now. I'm going to open the throttle just a little bit. They throw quite a bit of water initially as the steam condenses on the cold engine, so of course I have to wipe the thing off. Blow the whistle. You can adjust the speed with this little valve. Matter of fact, they will run rather slowly. Considering this was cheaply made, it's rather precision. Uh, it's, it, and it's incredibly simple in this wobbling mechanism. Small children were allowed to play with something like this years ago, with the electricity and the heat, and uh, you know, with every man for himself. And there was no safety labels on it, other than the UL label is on here, and uh, that's for the old two wire. It never passed nowadays without a ground. Somebody would get sued. I'm going to see if I can zoom the camera in just a little bit on that. I hope that shows up. That's about a three inch flywheel. Jensen made a whole line of little engines like this. Some of them were uh, powered by these little uh, heat tablets that burn. Children were allowed to play with them as well. Many a house was probably burned down. Jensen is still in business and sells a lot of these engines in a much more modern form. It would have a metal base. This is a wooden base. Hope you enjoy this little demonstration because I have quite a few more little engines to put on. About three or four more uh, commercially made ones like this as well as many of the I have made. 
Tubalcane signing out saying so long for now.